you know, how do you kind of address that with the guys in terms of, of getting out of that rut and, and getting guys moving again tonight? I think just recognizing that uh, I think we've made strides in that area. So it's not all to, um, you know, yesterday was, uh, you know, one example. It wasn't like four or five games in a row. Um, so I think we we don't want to overreact. Just encourage them to, to play the way they've been trending, playing early, playing uh, – Attacking the paint, uh, getting to the second side as quickly as possible, and and sharing the ball. And so I think we've done pretty good at kind of moving in that direction. But last night we went took a step back. Steve, just what are your thoughts on Cleveland? Obviously, they've had a lot of guys in out of the lineup. Like you have, yeah. I mean, they've been they've been hit with the injury bug here, injury illness bug. So, um, you know, I think they they they've shown they're a really really good team this year, and. Uh, and been moving in a really positive, exciting direction for their franchise. Um, you know, we, we have to tonight be very professional and not allow the guys that are out of the lineup to dictate our effort. We have to, you know, really uh, have that growth mindset and try to keep building and getting better and compete and have the right spirit and, and mentality and uh, have a good game. And I think Nick rejoined you guys a week ago. Just where was he at with his ramp up? Nick's, I, for me, I think Nick's got a ways to go. You know, he's, you know, he's got to really work on his conditioning. And so uh, I'm, I'm not sure when he'll be back or when he'll be back with, uh, you know, the necessary thrust uh, and, and, and um, you know, dynamic ability to play the game at this level. So hopefully it's not too long, but uh, I don't think it's, um, you know, in the next few games. Hey, Steve, uh, what do you think of the new, more sort of scoring-minded version of Ricky Rubio that we've seen this year? Yeah, he's been great. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's great to see. You know, he's, uh, I think, a very talented, creative player, but for him to be able to you know, make shots and keep people honest and make people pay, I think only uh, elevates his effectiveness, and so he, he's been really impressive this season. Hey, Steve, uh, Mark Sanchez from the post um, with Blake. I think it's over 18 from three the past couple of games. Um, is that shot selection? Is that just a funk or what have you seen from him? Yeah, I think it's a, uh, you know, he's just having a, um, a funk, you know, I, he, I think he's got good looks, um, but it uh, just hasn't been in a good rhythm and hasn't been able to make them. But, um, you know, people go through stretches like that. And so we're, we're trying to stick by him on that, in that respect and, uh, and allow him a chance to, to play out of it. Hey, hey, coach. Um, just I guess, do you guys still believe that Kevin and James need to be load managed at all? And how do you balance managing their load with understanding that these guys have to get reps with the team if they're going to build that cohesion and that connectivity that you always talk about? Yeah, I, th I think that we definitely are going to look for our spots to protect them, um, and we just have to be very strategic. You know, we're we're a new team trying to find itself and trying to form that identity and. Um, and those guys are super competitive, so they want to play. And it's a, it's a tricky balance. But, uh, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, we've struck the right balance and put them in a position to, to navigate the season, uh, to not be overburdened, and, and hopefully be uh, as fresh as they possibly could be at the end of the year. Brian Lewis. Hey, Steve. Um, following up on that, uh, Kevin and James, I mean, how limited would you, I guess, expect them to be? tonight coming off of uh, what they did last night. And secondly, with Paul, um, is whatever he's going through personally, is there any correlation between that and him having had very inconsistent or limited minutes so far? Uh, no, he, he falls, uh, you know, away for personal reasons. And that's totally separate from basketball. Um, you know, Kevin and James, you know, I, I, I don't see them being limited to tonight. Um, you know, I think uh, those guys are competitive. They want to play, and they're going to want to want to try to win tonight. Just to circle back to something, Christian, to an answer you gave, Christian, you said you're still looking to develop the team's identity. When you envision this group now, what do you see the identity as, and what do you want it to be? Yeah, I mean, I think we've um, started to move in a direction defensively where, you know, I think no one expected us to be kind of a top 10 defense. We're getting in that we're in that range. And uh, so that, in, in a sense, has been our identity. Uh, 
you know, that's, that's taken a lot of, I think, pride and concentration from our group. Um, and offensively, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of different, uh, different styles, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different habits trying to form into an identity. And, uh, that takes time. So some of it is trying to push in a direction where we play early, we play, uh, we attack and try to get in the paint. And if it's taken away, we move it, play on the second side so that we're not just playing against a loaded defense all night. And, um, so that I think offensively is the direction we're trying to go in. Uh, but at the same time, you know, these things also have to play out uh, in real space and time. You know, they can't just be theoretical and the personalities, the skill sets, the blending of those things has to happen naturally. And so there's, you know, there's no fast answer to that. It's, it's something that we have to monitor. We have to nudge, we have to provoke and, and continue to work at and refine. And, and like the defense, I think the guys overall have, have, have worked at it and have shown some improvements. So, but, uh, you know, also then there's last night where we took a step back. So in a, in a way, can last night be a, uh, benefit to us? And in, in that it, it shows us the, the amount of ground we need to continue to, to make up and the amount of diligence we need to, to strive for those principles that we've set. Great, thank you. Thanks, everybody.